welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a prom inspired video. I got so many requests on Snapchat to do a prom inspired tutorial. You must all be from America because in Ireland our prom, or as it's called over here, our Debs go all the way up to like October and some of them into early November. And at my Debs I won an award for Drama Queen of the Year. <laughs> I got my mum's friend to do my makeup on the day but I know at that time if she wasn't available I would have had to do it myself and I was at a loss because I had no idea what I wanted to do with my eyes. Today's prom look is very dramatic. It's not really for the faint hearted but I think it was so easy to recreate because I'm not really that good at cut creases and I did it like in like two seconds and it turned out okay I think. If you're not comfortable with a cut crease I wouldn't go in with the dark shade into the crease. I just stick with the browns and the gold. Golds and neutral colours go with every single dress. I mean you could be wearing a red, blue, yellow, purple, whatever colour dress and the gold and the neutral colours will go with it. I could definitely do a more toned down tutorial but do let me know. Um, I actually really liked how this came out and it was so simple to actually do and I'm shocked because I am crap at cut creases. So if you want to see how to get this look then please stay tuned for the full tutorial. Mwah! First of all I'm going to take my L'Oreal Nude Magic Blur Cream and I'm just going to apply that around my T-zone area. This is going to prime my face just before I put my foundation on, making it last throughout the night because that's what you want on your prom. I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. This is great because it has no SPF in it. I'm just bouncing it across my face using my Beauty Blender. Find that the Beauty Blender gives the best application and just makes your foundation look flawless. Next I'm going to take the Catrice Prime and Fine Eyeshadow Base. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelids and just blend it out with my ring fingers. It's going to make my eyeshadow just last the whole entire night. I'm going in with the Sleek Eye Divine Palette and this is the Storm Palette. I'm taking this light brown shade and just placing that straight through my crease and then blending it out with a big fluffy brush. And then going in with this more cool toned brown and placing it just a little bit lower than the first brown that we applied onto into the crease. I'm just going to blend it in this exact same positioning. Create the cut crease. I'm taking this matte black shadow and going in with a little angle brush. This is actually one from Penny's. It's really, really good at getting straight into the crease. I'm just going to outline my crease just following the natural groove of the eye. You can feel it yourself with the brush and just flicking it out on the outer corner. I'm not bringing it in too, too far in the inner corner. Then I'm going in with this gold shadow, applying that all over the mobile lid, making sure not to go in too much into the crease and cover up the black that we already have. In order to intensify the gold, I'm just going in with this collection. This is a liquid glitter and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid, just where the gold is. I'm placing a cream shadow just underneath the brow bone and into the inner tear duct. And then taking the Maybelline gel liner and with an angle brush I'm just I'm going to create a winged liner and I'm bringing that the whole way into the inner corner of my eye. It's all dependent on yourself and your own eye shape, what sort of liner you want to do but I just thought winged suit this best. I'm taking the NYX eyebrow gel and I'm just going to put this straight through my brows and then taking the Rimmel, I don't know what this is called, Brow This Way or something like that. I'm taking that brow product and just placing it over my brows. Then I'm going in with some mascara and taking both these Cara lashes to stack on top. Finally, I'm going to add some concealer underneath my eyes. I'm going to cream contour because I just find the cream contour lasts a lot longer and looks really really natural. I'm using the sleek cream contour kit in the colour dark. I'm blending it all out with my Beauty Blender. Make sure you take your time with this step. Don't rush it and blend it out well because you'll be left with streaks from the contour product if you're not careful. gonna go in with this light BB powder from L'Oreal and just place that underneath my eye that's just to set my under eye concealer and then to set the contour I'm just gonna take the contour shadow I'm just dabbing this on I'm not trying to build up product I just want to set it so it doesn't budge all night Going back into the Storm palette, I'm taking the light brown shadow and placing that all underneath my lower lash line and then going in with the darker shadow and just placing it just on the outer corner of my lower lash line. 
going in with some mascara now so I want this to be kind of dramatic and I'm taking lower lashes you don't have to do this step you can skip it if you like and then go in with the blush this is from Rimmel can't remember the name of it so I will write it down below and I'm taking the sleek solstice palette just to add a bit of highlight to the look applying that to my cheekbones and just over my cupid's bow next I'm going to take my Rimmel extravagant lip liner and this is in the color addiction just going to outline my lips and taking the Rimmel Kate lipstick in the number three just to add a bit of lippy to this so that is the completed look guys if you did enjoy this look please give it a thumbs up and I'd love to see your recreations of it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and do send me some pictures of you going to prom because I'd love to see them so tag me on Instagram and I will talk to you all in my next video I love you guys bye